What's up everybody? How you doing? This is Max Boogie from Wall Street. We got this week one game. It's been a long time. This video is 15 minutes, so I'ma just try to get all my, my my real points out in the first part. I didn't want to commentate over this video for like a couple weeks. Had it had it finished, had it edited and everything, and the intro was looking nice. But it was 15 minutes, and I was it's my fault. I got it on 10 minute quarters with no accelerated clock. I might bring it down to eight and bring back the accelerated clock because I was not beat yet. I played this game for an hour and 30 minutes. That's how long it took me to record. That's how long the file was actually. It was an hour and 30 minutes. Um, I got instant replays in here, edited in. I got uh, stuff edited in with it. You know, that's just how it went. Um, I'm gonna be streaming a lot more. I'm always on Twitch. I'll be lurking on Twitch. I might just start streaming UFC. I might start streaming these games, but um, if I do, it's not gonna be edited as nicely as like when I don't stream them. But um, most likely, I'm gonna be streaming them on Sunday or something like that. Um, and probably just random uh, stuff. The games of the week. I will upload a video before I start streaming though. Um, because that'd be a nice thing to do to let everybody know. So I'll be streaming on Sunday around. It depends on my work schedule. So every every week I get a new work schedule. Um, I will I will see it. I'll probably plan out days to stream. Probably play UFC. Do this. Do that. Um, yeah. So this video is 15 minutes long. I did not want to commentate over it, but it is your boy's birthday. We got to put out a video. It's June 18th. 2016 we just turned 19 years old unfortunately we work today from 3 to 9 so I won't be streaming unless I work 3 to 9 on Sunday you know what I'm saying because then I'll probably stream overnight and I'll have to wake up early but I have to wait and see I don't, I don't know my schedule yet but um that's what we wanted to let y'all know now for the rest of this video I'm just be talking about stuff that I've seen on Twitch you know stuff that I've uh it's about Madden, you know what I'm saying? It's all about Madden. I watched a lot of Twitch streamers, you know. I'll be lurking. Though. I don't really be in the chats that often. I try to be, but, you know, the chats, it basically is just like, if you know that if the streamer talks to you and you talk in the chat, that's the conversation. Like, nobody else joins in. They just send the messages and stuff like that. Not all streams, but some of the streams I've been in has been like that. So I just, I just lurk. I just lurk everything. Not that I'm stealing plays, not that I'm doing it. I just lurk and I hear and I think to myself because, you know, that's how it goes. But um, the Madden Challenge, Madden Tournament, Madden Championship Tournament uh, has just ended. It ended about a couple of days ago, probably a week ago. I'm not sure. Um, Stiff Meister won, beat um, Problem. Uh, I watch Problem a lot on Twitch. It's probably the most. I probably watch probably the most on Twitch out there. I never watched any other. I don't know if Stiff Mice is, uh, streams or whatever. But, yeah. Um, and a lot of people, you know, Madden is a game. Madden is a football game. It's supposed to represent football. It's supposed to do all this other stuff. They got the teams right. They got the stadium right. I guess they got the announcers right and everything. Um, but usually gameplay is where it's lacking. You know what I'm saying? It's not really as real as they can get now i understand people do get I, dude, I understand people do get mossed in real life but people just say it happens so random and what they mean by that is probably anybody can get mossed anybody can moss somebody else like darren Sproles or, or, or perryman or <laughs> somebody that is like five nine five ten can moss brandon excuse me brandon browner or something like that you know, it's, 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 I can understand that. That shouldn't be able to happen. But, um, in the tournament, that golden ticket Mike Evans, this is why, this is why I really can't get into mud late in the year because my team is always not as good as everybody else's. This golden ticket Mike Evans, I'm not even sure about his stats. Pretty sure he has a hundred something because everybody had him on their team. He's a golden ticket. Um, his overall is 99. I'm going to just take that guess. I'm not sure, but I'm guessing it is 99. Um, and you just throw it up to him, and he will catch it over anybody in the game, okay? 
Um, it makes sense though, because he has a 99 overall card. You know what I'm saying? It makes sense why you can just, he can catch more things and more passes than probably anybody else. Um, you can see this nice cut right here. This is so nice. I'm getting. If I do start streaming these, I can't like edit them at the same time. You know what I'm saying? I can't go into the replay and then choose a choose a uh, angle for the replay. This nigga probably be looking at me like, "Yo, what are you doing, yo? I just want to see the game." But um, yeah, they had somebody had Gronk. I think Stiff Stiff Mice had Gronk on his team. I don't know, but you just throw it up to them, and they 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 get the ball, and it happens. It happens. People say this takes no skill. Of course it doesn't. Why would it? You know what I'm saying? All you have to do is throw it up. And it takes the knowledge. They had Jalen Ramsey one-on-one -on -one with Gronkowski. Um, why wouldn't somebody throw it up? You think Tom Brady wouldn't throw it up? Tom Brady would throw that up. Jalen Ramsey versus Rob Gronkowski one-on-one. -on -one. Um, doesn't make sense to even have that as a situation. But there's things like you really... The double team in Madden is like a lot of steps you have to pull off to actually get the double team. Um, unless you just play man coverage. And most tournament, most of the tournament players, they didn't really play a lot of man coverage. They were sending all these blitzes and stuff. Other th other things, you know, it's, they can't call them a nano because then everybody gets sensitive. Um, they can say it's just heat. It's a blitz they send. Got the loop. I like the loops, though. The loops are like kind of like the NFL because, you know, they do run stunts and stuff in the NFL, but and some linemen do get confused. But if my linemen are 99 overall, 98 overall, they better not be getting confused every play, every time they run that blitz. That's all I'm saying about those. But, yeah, man, aggressive catching, I mean, it happens, it doesn't happen. It doesn't really, it, it definitely will bother me if the guy gets six or eight of them in a the game to win. You know what I'm saying? But it does happen. Now, if imagine if it happened on a fixed like rate like you know what i'm saying like on every third down or just just to exaggerate on some on something because that's what everybody likes to do when they talk bad about the game they be like yeah they send they like to exaggerate all the time you know just to make it sound um stronger like a stronger point they just exaggerate but I mean, it feels like a fixed thing that happened is still random, you know what I'm saying? Because anybody can do it, it can happen at any time. But if it was fixed, like, oh, he's going to catch at least like 7 out of 10, you know what I'm saying? 7 out of 10 um, aggressive catches a game or something like that. That would be something crazier, I think. Like, it happens at a specific time or whatever. Um, you know you're going to be catching 7 of them, okay? <laughs> you know? So that'd be pretty retarded. So I don't know how. I, maybe it's something in the programming that we don't know about. You know, because we're not actually making a game. Um, maybe it's something where, where it's just hard to do. You know, hard to come up with a solution to represent how people get mossed in real life. You know what I'm saying? People make one-handed catches in real life. And everybody says, yo, that was a nice catch. Let somebody make a one-handed catch on somebody in Madden. And they say, ah, oh, it's, uh, it's all this and that. Talking about Madden ain't about this, Madden ain't about that. Man, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it just goes both ways. And I understand you get mad because you're about to lose. But, hey, you know, you win some, you lose some. Keep it moving. Hopefully, though, I've, watched, I've been watching stuff from Madden 17 um, from the Gap Adjustments, Gap Assignments video. Still, Madden football IQ is not built into the AI. Um, we get into that later. But in 17, I watched the video. The guy was talking about uh, the aggressive catches and how you can press SWAT now. SWAT actually works. They said you have no chance of getting the interception, but you will you will SWAT the ball. You will stop the aggressive catch, which I'm not sure if he was exaggerating about stopping the aggressive catch because if that's all you have to do, and if it really like stops at 100% of the time, um, I don't know how I'm going to feel about that because <laughs> people still get mossed in real life. I don't understand. Like, why would that Why would that happen? But um, even if when they go for the SWAT, they still can get mossed. But, you know, that's just something that it may be hard to, you know, program into the game or whatever. I'm, I'm not going to get into all that because I don't know about all that. Some people say, yeah, all you got to do is change the code. No, how you know that? You don't make games, you know what I'm saying? But, um, oh, oh we're going to the player. AI IQ is is another thing that is probably hard to do. 
and the gap with adjustments, assignments, video, the uh, pulling. I don't know if it was a tackle or it was a guard. The guy ran Clay Matthew. I mean, Luke Kigley came up. <laughs> I don't know. This has been happening in Madden for so long. I think I had it in one of these videos earlier. I'm not sure. I have to go watch that video again. But it, it, they don't make sense blocking-wise. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't make sense about where players go to block, how players go to block. It doesn't make sense at all, especially on the run, like downfield like that. If there was a player in front of him, the guy would keep running straight downfield. He wouldn't have turned right because that's where the defenders were. He would have kept going straight and he eventually would have got hawked. It doesn't make sense because that doesn't happen in real life. Um, if you're just running downfield, you would definitely turn around to see if anybody is coming quick and that would stop him. But no, that doesn't happen in Madden because they don't have any, uh, you know, animation for that. Um, um, what happened? The pulling the lineman um, missed, completely missed Luke Keekly. Uh, he just ran past him, didn't even look at him, didn't do anything. Um, I, you know, that's just what happens. I always was taught, go pick up whoever you see. If you see him free, you better go block him, you know what I'm saying? Because you need to block somebody. Um, that's not the case in Madden. That's, this is Madden football, not totally real football. But, you know, that's how it goes. And also on the goal line, I hope they, the goal line, you can get the same rush animations, block animations as anywhere else on the field, which is not, is not something that, that you see in real football at all. Because if it's in the game, it's in the game, right? But on the goal line, if you're in a goal line set, you're, you're not going to rush like it's a shotgun play, like, like they're about to pass the ball mostly they just want to clog the middle and make sure the linebackers can get stop the running back before he goes into the touchdown but that does not happen um everybody stands up on the goal line and, and all this other stuff happens that's just another thing that i've noticed that was a nice play right there that's just another thing i've noticed in the game about what they could fix and what they probably won't because nobody really cares about it that much everybody cares about the aggressive catch like I just went up on that guy right there. Now, if next year I can't do that just because he's holding SWAT, it doesn't make sense because <laughs> people get lost in the end zone all the time. Okay, this is Julio Jones on some corner. I would guess that that is Kerry Williams. I can't see the last name right now, but I would take a guess to say that's him. It's Julio Jones, okay? He's going to moss somebody. If, if Kerry Williams... If I have a 58 overall corner on Julio Jones and all I have to do is press SWAT to not get mossed on, that'd be that'd be that'd be not good. You know, I wouldn't like that. But um that's just my thoughts about aggressive catching and, and, and they just need to upgrade all the blocking. Some people just always hate on Madden all the time. I'll be watching Twitch streams. All they they be playing it just hating on it. Like, yeah, this guy. This, yo, he's he giving him lucky stuff, man. He's staying in the game because he's lucky. All oh, this and that. I'm like, yo, people drop, you know, dropping picks, dropping easy picks. People drop easy passes. Why receive it? You know, I don't understand, yo. I just, maybe it's just me because I just go go with it. And, you know, if it, I, understand, I, I understand more things like I'm understanding type of person. Okay, but maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me just looking into the bright side of things, recognizing that it's a video game, recognizing that it's not going to be perfect. I'm not going to sit here and be emotional about me losing, about me, uh, you know, doing something else. But um, I've been talking for 14 minutes about this aggressive catch and the blocking and the AI and stuff. Leave your thoughts about it in the comments section. But next year, they just giving away, they said a million dollars in tournaments. This, I don't think it's going to be one one million dollar tournament. Because there was two tournaments this year. Um, you know. But definitely, I'm going to be trying to get in there. So that's what else I'm going to be streaming um, next year, right now. UFC, all this other stuff. I'm definitely going to be getting into that. Your boy's got, he's back in the lab. I used to be so tough in the lab, yo. I used to be a master. I was a master mind, yo. I was in there. I had my own blitzes, my own offensive scheme. I'm just getting back into it. Um... That's just go how it be. This game we ended up winning. What haven't we really talked about the gameplay much? Hope y'all like the editing and go on it. But if I start streaming, that editing is not going to be there. Um, except except for maybe the intro. Maybe I keep the intro. I can not skip that and just have that go off. You know, 
that's just how it goes but I'm coming back to that competitive Madden in Madden 12 13 I was up there okay just wanted to let y'all know that my, my competitive skills were high in Madden 12 and 13 after that I just kind of fell off of that and YouTube um, and you know that happens you can't do something that long and you know so you, you start to get more things to happen to you in real life but um that is the end of the video uh, you know what I'm saying see this is what I'm talking about 300 192 rushing yards I had to put a time down or something but always remember in the street we trust I'm out